the startup procedures are a little different than the official procedures laid out by Cirrus in their pilot's operating handbook for this plane. So, in the interests of doing it right, I am going to go from the official Cirrus procedures. If you haven't figured it out by now, your very first session in this plane is going to come as quite a shock because when it loads fresh, it loads with the cover on. So that was surprising. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, uh, the plane loads in a seven degree nose high attitude, like it's a tailwheel plane. That's different. Don't worry about it. Just hold your brakes when you get started. Because once the propeller starts, the nose will come down. So, with all that out the way, chocks, covers, tie down, shield. If you want to start on external power, you can do so by tagging the energy app on the tablet. And towards the bottom right, toggle the GPU. It's a little dark in here, um, so I'm going to turn on the overhead lights. Try and get some, try and get some light in here. And it's not helping much, but it's helping a little, but not much. So we're just going to plow ahead. Battery two, battery one. strobe light. Let everybody know that you're about to uh, prop the engine. I'm moving the power lever to full forward only so I can fully enrich the mixture. You can't really see it but the fuel pump switch is right here to the left of these labels and I'm just going to push down on boost and leave it there. Alright, so let's uh, clear the propeller area. The next item is to move the power lever back so it's a quarter inch open. Don't do that. Leave it in the full forward position. We're going to turn our fuel selector to left and we're going to grab our ignition key which is hanging towards the rear of the pedestal. Once you click on the ignition key, it automatically goes into the ignition switch. Crank, 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 and boom, there it is. Now you can retard the throttle to uh, 1,000 RPMs. While you're over here, check your oil pressure. Make sure it's rising. Once the engine's turned over, you can press the Alt 1 and Alt 2 switches. Bring up your avionics. Check the engine parameters. Disconnect external power at this point if it's connected. And from here, you can go on to your pre taxi configuration and your plane in the air. What I'm finding is make sure that the power lever is full forward, full throttle, when you're cranking the ignition. Once the engine starts spinning, then you can throttle back to idle. That's it. 
This has been Quentin J. Parker, your pilot, and I'll catch up with you crazy bastards. Laters. Bye.